This is going to be a detailed teardown of the right rear window regulator motor assembly. I've already decided that this regulator is beyond salvaging, but I just want to see if the motor is usable, because I can purchase the regulator without motor. I would rather use the original OEM motor than some knockoff Chinese version, because I do have the comfort control module in this car, and I would like the uh, feature of closing all windows to still work. Uh, it relies on the stall current of the motor to know when the window is in the up position. I can't guarantee that some aftermarket Chinese motor is going to perform exactly the same, so I'd rather use the original. So let's get started at pulling it apart. Already, things are not looking good in here. This pulley is under tremendous strain because these cables have become all unraveled and jammed inside the unit. Hopefully the damage to the pulley itself is minimal and the housing too, obviously. So let's just persist by operating this motor backwards and forwards to get this cable to come out. As you can see, that cable is pretty terrible that's the reason I don't want to bother reusing this regulator because it's just going to uh, fail or cause more damage if I continue to use that cable. Here's a close-up shot of why I don't want to reuse this regulator. That kind of kink in the cable is not going to uh, conform to the pulley particularly well. It's just going to jam up again in future. Even with the cable and pulley removed, I noticed the motor was making a funny noise every time this section I had marked in black went past the motor. But here is a close-up of the cable pulley itself. The ribs are damaged in a few places. I will try and straighten those out because I do want to reuse this part. If I can't straighten those out, I think you may be able to purchase this by itself from the aftermarket scene. Um, the damage isn't too bad. I just need to straighten these ribs out. Here I am going a bit further in to see what 
the possible causes of that uh, strange motor sound every time that part of the gear was going past the motor. I noticed it was also uh, changing the amount of current it was drawing every time it went past that section, so I thought perhaps a tooth had been damaged on the large gear. After carefully inspecting the gear and its teeth around the area of concern, I couldn't actually see anything wrong. All of the teeth looked absolutely perfect. I was baffled at this point. What the hell is going on? And why is the motor making this noise? Upon installation of the gear and then operating the motor, the true issue causing the sound became immediately apparent. See if you can see what it is too. The gear isn't even round anymore, as you can clearly see here as it's spinning around. I don't believe this is caused by the regulator failure. This is just a phenomenon that happens with plastic gears uh, exposed to grease over so many years. They end up shrinking or distorting, eventually cracking and failing. Uh, I can probably get by by using this for some time further. But I think you also may be able to buy this gear as a spare part as well in the aftermarket scene, so that's something I'll look into.